Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. I hope everybody's well. Gemini, it is time for your January round two 2022 reading. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising your Venus sign readings. I think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Even though typically the round two isn't really the cross watchers read, this time it will be. We will do a all about you reading later in the month to go over things that you guys need to work on and what needs to go out of your lives, what's coming in, you know, all that happy jazz. Um, wow, there's a lot to address here. If you're new, think you might want to hang out some more, think we're going to vibe and stuff, you can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for coming back by. I have turned comments back on, so as long as people aren't being jerks, feel free to leave a comment. Um, anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the video to be circulated to those who made the messages. Gosh, there's a lot to address here, Gemini. Dang. Five of Swords, Ace of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Swords reversed, Six of Cups reversed, Four of Swords reversed, Chariot reversed, Judgment reversed, Empress reversed. Um, there was a throwdown. Dang. I feel like um, somebody shut a chariot down because they found out about an old chariot. That conversation did not go well. I don't know who that belongs to, but that's somebody's side story. Okay, we'll see if any of it comes back out in the rest of the read. Just one second, please. Sorry, I had to secure a babysitter for the child. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. I think we just about got it. Alright, we're going to hit down Gemini. Seven of Cups reversed. Energy of the person Gemini is dealing with. Tower reverse. Not knowing which path to take. Wanting to rebuild. Okay. Why the Hierophant reversed? Emperor.
It's my way or the highway. Why the Six of Pentacles? Reversed for their energy. Six of Cups. Goes back a long way. Things aren't even equal. Things weren't stable. Why the Star reversed? Or how you feel about them. Star reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. They haven't healed because it was an equal give and take. Why the Three of Swords? For how they feel about you. Why the Three of Swords? King of Swords. You're heartbroken, but it needed to happen. Non emotional, logical, well thought out, determined. King of Cups, oh boy. Does not wear his emotions out on his sleeve. So you're heartbroken, but you're not saying anything. You're not showing it. For what you think of them, Queen of Cups. Queen of Swords first. The love's there, but mm, a little bit of a dude going on. A quick, wicked tongue. Possibly they don't think before they speak. Strength reversed. Lack of trust or drained? Lack of trust or drained? Empress reversed. Don't have what it takes to be the Empress. Oh, wow. Wow. Rude. Just throwing that out there. But, tis what tis. Or maybe they think you feel like you don't have what it takes. That this is just too draining. Why the Eight of Wands? Why the Eight of Wands? Queen of Wands? Why the... For what the other person thinks of Gemini. Eight of Wands clarified by the Queen of Wands. Ten of Cups reversed, Ten of Pentacles. Fast movement, action before happiness. All about money, all about coin, not about happiness. Very, that's some very my way of the highway energy. All right, what are your intended actions toward them, Gemini? Hangman reversed. What, what are your intended actions? Princess of Wands, Justice reversed. Princess of Wands, Justice reversed. I'm not sure what to do to fix this. Other than tell the truth. Clearing up any deceptions. Why the High Priestess reversed? 
their intended actions toward you. Six of Wands reversed, Three of Wands, Eight of Pentacles reversed, on top of the High Priestess reversed. They're going to keep you in the dark until you say something. They're going to keep you in the dark. Until you say something, they're not going to put any energy or effort into this. But I think if you approach them, they'll they'll talk. The, the conversation will happen, but you got to approach them first. the outcome. Page of Swords. Why the Page of Swords? Uh, Nine of Swords. Prince of Swords. I think you'll finally come out of that state of anxiety and just open your mouth. Speak. Hermit. But after some due diligence and thought process for sure. Why the world reversed for their side? Why the world reversed? Death reversed. Princess of Swords. There it is. Alchemist at the bottom of the deck. There's some, probably some very mild mind games going on here. I mean, they want to rebuild the tower. But right now they're just watching from far. I don't think they're saying much. They're waiting for truths to come out. Because they don't know if this is going to grow or not. They don't know. They don't know. But you... Confusion because somebody's being quiet. When they aren't being quiet, they're being persnippity. It's a wishy washy, codependent energy. Walk away and come back. There's that emperor again. It's a make up your mind my way or the highway type energy. Alright, let's get a moonology and a wisdom oracle and call it a read, Gemini. Oh, emotions are running high. I dare say they might be. <laughs> I dare say they might be. Chaos and conflict. Number 33. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 is balance. All right, emotions are running high. Super moon. This card suggests that the answer to whatever you're asking is writ large like a silvery full moon set against a velvety sky. If you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or a relationship, the answer is very. To use common parlance, the answer to your question may well be that it's under your nose. This card is about being larger than life, being special and bursting with energy that you can tune into and work with. You can expect plenty of good things and a positive outcome when this card comes up. But you mind, 
but you may find there's a lot of emotion to deal with. There's also a sense that the opportunities around whatever you're asking about don't come along every day, so take action. Chaos and conflict, number 33. Disarray, being at cross purposes with one another, the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. Opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere, but consider the value of chaos that serves you well. As you become unmoored by it, scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need, and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. Wow. Okay. Gemini. Thanks for coming by for round two. Have a heck of a rest of your January, and I will catch you guys in your next read. Peace, love, and light, and be blessed.